This mechanical keyboard has a very interesting sound profile. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vita keyboard from Canon Keys and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. This keyboard starts off at a price point of $189 for the all blackout version that comes out this Black Friday and that is also when the group buy starts. Now there are also plenty of different color options to choose from and the one I have here today is the Luma colorway. Inside the box you get the keyboard itself, your choice of PCB, plate, and you can also opt in for a wireless version of this keyboard as well. So if you do, you would have the battery, of course. The one thing that's not included is case foam or plate foam, but they do have that as add-ons. But besides that, I think the most interesting part of this keyboard besides the design is actually the mounting style they're going for. So it is called a bottom mount, which is something I haven't used before. And basically this plate is screwed in like a top mount would be, but it's screwed and of course to the bottom part of the case. Now they did include some gaskets, but that's more to help the keyboard close than it is for fewer sound. And the top case is actually secured to the bottom case via magnets, which is also very nice because it makes it really quick and easy to take it apart if need be. Another thing that's cool is they have two USB-A pass-throughs on the back of the keyboard. So if you do like plugging things in directly to your keyboard, you do have that option as well, which is kind of not really seen in a lot of keyboards these days. Going back to the design, I think the side profile looks very futuristic and cool, which kind of flows into the bottom weight, which also has a very unique and futuristic design that I think complements the keyboard perfectly. Now, while this is a 60% layout, if you do like arrow keys, you can always add them via their software that's supported by this keyboard. I believe it's QMK and VIA. The typing feel of this keyboard is quite nice, and I've never really used a bottom mounted keyboard before. For, so this is a first but I quite enjoyed it now of course how stiff the typing feel kind of plays into what plate you want to use so I was given the polycarbonate so mine did not feel super harsh the other thing I wanted to point out is the fact that there is barely any room in the bottom part of the case so that leaves little room for ping or hollowness sound from the keyboard if you did not want to use case or plate foam like I am not doing today. The switches I was given are the Everfree Curry Linears and the keycaps I'm going to be using are of course the Canon Key November Fog. With that all being said, here's a quick sound test you guys can hear how it sounds. The sound signature of this keyboard is quite unique. It sounds pretty quiet, you know, not like a silent linear wood, but it does sound a lot quieter than other keyboards I've used because there is barely any room for the sound to resonate. It does have a short sound profile. With that all being said, if you are interested in this group buy, I'll be leaving it in the description below for you to check out. Let me know what you guys think of the Canon Keys Vita in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.